my Black Friday purchases turned up late for my MFT video, but here are the accessories I bought to embellish my new benchtop setup. A cardboard tube containing a fence and an 800mm Festool track. I find the 1400mm version a little too long for my space. The tube contained a bench dog marked 2.1 fence dog and unlike my bench dog square I didn't go for the fully loaded version that comes in a sustainer case. But the kit does contain a set of fence dogs a levered flag stop and the Mark 2.1 1000mm universal fence with both imperial and metric measurements and the integrated under track support. I also bought some 3mm bench dog spacers so I could at least try and save or prolong my bench top's life. But for now, I'll put these to one side while I take a closer look at the other items. First off, I need to trim down the splinter strip on my new track. For this, I use an old piece of MDF, actually my old workbench top. I'm setting my saw to a cut depth of around about five mm I just run down the length of my track to cut away the excess piece of plastic. I'm sitting my bench dog square in its holes and using these two bolts. Actually, I don't know what they're for. The flagstock components just needed put in together. This comprises of a washer either side of the actual flag and just tightening down the nut. Right, let's mount the fence. The fence dogs just slide down the groove at the back of the fence. The fence can actually be rotated so it's either tall or narrow. With the fence installed on the dogs, it just needs pushing up tight to the track. Depending on the rotation of your fence, the flag stop pushes into the groove on the top or the side and then once in position is just locked down with the lever. Now I wasn't quite sure how to set the fence up to the track. It doesn't seem to cover this on the website instructions. So in the end I decided to set the fence hard to the track which meant there was a fraction of a millimetre of fence protruding past the cutting edge. I then locked the old fence down. This meant that my first cut would remove a fraction of the end of the fence. I suppose it's a little bit like trimming the track down on the Festool, although I'm not sure I felt comfortable doing this. Ideally, I wanted to use my 3mm spacers. Actually, because I've not drilled all the holes yet, I can't do that. So I removed them and used a piece of old hardboard just to protect the bench on my first cut. And using a piece of scrap wood from my offcut bin, I set my flag stop to 500mm and then just made the first cut. And actually, it's perfectly aligned, exactly 500 millimeters. So I'm happy I cut a fraction off the end of the fence. So there we have it. The bench dog, fence dog, quite a mouthful, to work as a crosscut station with my smaller Festool track and Festool track saw. And if you like this kind of content, then please have a look at these videos.